Hi! Guys, I'm only three minutes late. Get excited. Alert the media. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me just get this angle. Just perfect. How are you guys doing? I actually was hoping, I was hoping that I would be able to be exactly on time so you could actually hear like the hooping and hollering at the, at 7 p.m. of everyone, but I failed. I failed. Sorry. Um, how are you guys doing? Thank you for joining me. Why does it look like, okay, it's fine. I'm like, am I missing some lighting? Nope. This is all I got. Um, you guys, thank you for being here. Today is very spatial. It's a spatial live stream because I hit 15K. Woohoo! And it certainly wasn't on my own. It's because other people made it happen. People who came over from Jen Loves Reviews. Um, if you guys didn't see the uh, collab that I did with Jen, um, it was, it was such an honor truly. And so many new people came over. I want to say like close to, well, now it's, it's almost been a thousand new subscribers. So thank you to everyone. I woke up this morning and hit 15 K. So it was a great, great way to wake up. So <gasps> champagne. I've got some champagne. It's not champagne. It's actually Prosecco, but whatever whatever. So I'm going to pop it right on screen for you. If I can. Oh, shoot. There's usually a tab. What the? Oh, here. Oh, okay. Here we go. I've got it. I've got it. It's happening. Okay. Let's not take an eye out. Okay. If someone comes at me for calling Prosecco champagne, don't, don't you do it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, my friend Heather is here. Hi, Heather. Thanks for coming. Okay, I'm going to say my hellos in just a second, but... Yes. Yes. Look at those bubbles dough. That's pretty. That's a pretty color. This is the Josh Prosecco product of Italy. And I am going to, I'm going to go pour Randy some. Do you see him over there? He's waiting for his pour. Hold on a second. Perfect. Okay. I probably should have given this to him to put in the fridge, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll drink semi-warm champagne. <sighs> okay. I'm going to drink it now because I love it. I love Pro 6. Mm. That's good. It's good. I've never had this Prosecco actually. It, I slurged and it was like gasp $15. Why is this? I'm sorry, but I have to fix my lighting. Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Okay, so now that we pop the champagne, I'm going to scroll up and say some hellos. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Oh my gosh, there's so much that I miss. I don't know that I can scroll all the way up. But, uh, oh, Cap Malam is having a bourbon sour. Um, Jerry Morrison is here. Thank you guys for all your congratulations. You're so sweet. Karen Kraus. Deborah Mitchell Swimbo is here. <laughs> Maricela Salas. Heather Schrader, one of my besties. Steffi Britches. 
Bonnie, hi Bonnie. More than just skin is here. Yes, Kate, where are you? I'm finally here drinking Amaretto and Sprite. I'm here, I'm here. More than just skin is always like promoting my live streams on her Instagram. So again, follow follow her on Instagram. She is so sweet. She is like doing like way above and beyond. <laughs> always telling people about these live streams. So thank you so, so much. More than just skin. Different Deb is here. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. It's my first time here. Yay. Congratulations on 12K, Kate. Deb, girl, it's 15K, girl. Don't take me back. Don't take me back to 12K. Okay, we're going to have to go back like over a year. <laughs> we're not back, 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 back it up, back it up, back it up. Not this time. I'm in Vancouver. Swimbo says I'm in Vancouver, British Columbia. Yes, I love Vancouver. Sulema Luna. Hello, Kate. Happy Friday and a big congrats on 15K. Yes. Oh, yeah, I really did scroll all the way up, guys. I really did. <laughs> BMAC 0320. Hey, hey, I'm new here. Loving your channel. Thank you. Not just thank you. Thank you to the people who came over from Jen Loves Reviews, but also like, even if you didn't come over from Jen Loves Reviews, however the hell you got here, I'm just glad you're here. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see. Jenny with a Y is here. 15K, yas. Melissa, she said she finally made it for her first live. Wow, I feel like there are several people who are brand new here. This is awesome sauce. More than just skin said she wore her good job shirt today in celebration of 15K. You guys are going to, like, honestly make me tear up. It's, it's too much. It's too much, damn it. Marilyn Blythe, I came over from Jen Loves Reviews. I watched your older videos and was so excited about your channel. Then I realized I had seen you on Michelle Wong's live chat. I found her from Jen Loves too. Congrats. That's amazing. Michelle Wong, another gem of a woman. Gem of a woman. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Jerry Morrison said, please, friends, thumbs up the live. 167 people are watching and 84 have liked it. I love how people, people in my, uh, in my chat are calling other people out for being here, but not giving it a thumbs up. Damn it. Damn it. Janet, give it a thumbs up. Kathy, Kathy Amauer, lying on my porch swing, sipping a Matua Sauvignon Blanc. Shut up. We have Matua in our fridge. It's one of my favorite, favorite Sauvignon Blancs, favorite white wines, period. Rebecca, Rebecca Schmierer is here. We want to help you grow. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay. So I want to point something out to you guys. This is another, as I go along here, um, Rebecca has a fantastic, uh, oh, Britt Clark is here. Britt. Okay. Hey girl, hey, cheers. Freaking love Britt Clark. Um, so Rebecca Schmier, she actually has a fantastic blog. It's called Lift Bake Love. I believe Rebecca, correct me if I've said that wrong. Um, I, it's, it's a, a beauty blog. So you should definitely check it out. And she has, oh, Sherry sent me a hundred dollars. Sherry for it. congrats on 15K drinks for everyone. Drinks, 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 shot, 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 Sherry Ford is in the house and hey, yeah. <laughs> Sherry Ford, you just made my eyes kind of like water up. I'm just like, my eyes, it can't, a hundred dollars, it can't take it in. <sighs> Sherry Ford. Okay. Going back to, I will not forget what I was saying. I will not become distracted. 
but kind of, but then I'll go back to what I was saying. So Lift Bake Love, check out this blog. It's a fantastic beauty blog. And she's also like features some of my recommendations, which is so sweet. She just seems like a, a lovely, lovely gal. And I'm going to put it, it's Lift, go to her Instagram, Lift Bake Love. I think it's liftbakelove.com, but there. I hope I said it right. Did she, did she chime in? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good, good. I did, I did it right. Did I do it right, Mom? <laughs> Paula B44, is Sherry Ford's real name Donna? <laughs> I mean, oh, my mom is here. Oh, my mom said mom and dad's eyes are tearing up too. Sherry Ford. No, Sherry Ford is not my mom. Oh. <laughs> I never thought we'd have this conversation. I never thought we'd get to this point. But... I don't think Sherry Ford's my mom. <laughs> um, Lori, $20. Congratulations. Here's to many more. She sent me $20 on Venmo. Guys, thank you so, so much. <sighs> Honestly, like I, I'm, I'm truly blown away. Um, so there are some new people. <laughs> my dad is tearing up. Dad. I, that is, I've seen that happen like twice in my life and I'd never want to see it again because I literally couldn't like peel myself off the ground. I was a mess. Um, so, so anyway, you can, uh, it's different things you can do to support my channel. I always like to say that people ask all the time. We've got brand new people here. Um, you just being here is supportive. If you throw this video a like, that's awesome. Um, please make sure you're subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Um, you can always, you don't have to, no one has to, no one has to be Sherry Ford. Okay. But if you want to like try, if you're like a wannabe Sherry Ford, <laughs> you can, uh, you, you can always super chat, right? So super chat is super fun. Cause like everyone sees it and it's like a party or you can also, um, uh, send, send what you would send. Wow. Can I talk? No, I can't. Drunk already. Um, you can also send it through my Venmo pay PayPal, which is located in the description box. Randy also put it in the um, chat for you guys. So those are the options. Most important option, in my opinion, uh, the most valuable thing you can do at the end of the day is to share my shit. If you love my videos, t hey, I'll pick one out for you. Uh, take my Jen Loves Reviews collab that I that went up yesterday. Take that and share it. Throw it up on your Facebook. Throw it up on your Instagram. Throw it up on your Twitter. Just throw it up there. And it really helps my channel out. Like sharing is truly caring. So, okay. I'm going back up because I think Better Off Red is here. Yes. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hi, squirrel friend. I'm just checking out the comments. Julie B. Yas, Kate. I'm here for the celebrations. Swimbo said, Sarah, hi. I watched your halfway to Halloween video. That was an amazing makeup job. Yeah, guys, here's the deal. Okay. I know I talk about Better Off Red all the time and I... I'm not sorry. Um, she put out a video it, yesterday that is a halfway to Halloween video because I don't know if you knew to this, but it is halfway to Halloween. She does incredible. I never know how what to say. Is it is it effects makeup? SFX? I get so confused. Sorry, the bubbles are getting to me. But she she's incredible at it, and she did a Freddy Krueger look. So half of her face is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Karen sent me $15. Karen Krause, 15k. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for the Venmo. Um, so anyway, she, she did a fantastic video where she, half of her face is absolutely gorgeous. And the other half of her face is Freddy Krueger. And watching the process is like the most entrancing thing I've ever seen. It is, she's truly an artist. Like, please, please go watch this video. It's incredible. $20 from Maria McAdrian. Work paid us an extra paycheck, basically. So, so congrats on 15K. Thank you so much. 
Thank you guys, 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 guys. Um, Kim McConnell, she said, I got Glossier through your link and two sets of BK brushes. Oh my gosh, some of my favorite things ever, 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 ever. Now Norris said, yes, your reviews and suggestions are so helpful, Kate. Share, share. Okay, okay, I think I'm caught up on the comments. Yes, please, please go watch Sarah's video. And if you haven't freaking subscribed to her already, I mean, my God, what is it going to take? And Britt Clark, her and Britt Clark. Okay, okay. Sarah Nielsen, I discovered you yesterday via Jen. Such been 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 binge watching your videos. Hello from South African. Hello from a South African in Michigan. Wow, I'm gonna have to work on my cold reading skills tonight because I'm failing miserably. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming over. Okay. What else? I'm gonna. I have to have notes, guys. I, I did no, like no notes one night and I was like, what did I forget? Did I forget to say anything? So, no, I think I'm good actually. So everything that I mention, almost everything, unless I forgot something, which I will tell you, is listed in the description box. Oh my goodness, a super chat. Jen, Jenny Liz M, 499. Congrats on this wonderful milestone. 15K, wow. Can you imagine? Have you ever tried Stella Rosa Italian ported wines? No, I have not. Are you a representative? <laughs> She's like, congrats. Have you tried this amazing wine? It's from this company. <laughs> no, that's amazing. I have not tried that, but should I? Is it good? Let's talk sponsorships. S sponsor sponsorships. Do you want to... So what we're trying to do? Okay, just kidding. Laura Libner is here. Laura was in the hospital, guys, and she got out of the hospital and she's on the mend. Thank you so much for being here tonight, Laura. Carolyn Wilson, I'm worried about the Prosecco. <laughs> Please take it to Randy only because I want you to have the best celebration for 15K. Okay. Here. Okay. We're gonna put it, we're, we're putting it in the freezer or the fridge. Just because you asked, just because you asked. <laughs> Jay Lee, yes, Kate, where is your booze sponsor? Yeah, where is my booze sponsor? Where? There's none to be found, none. Vivian Haig, I came home from work and had my Pat McGrath concealer and powder, also my Fenty blushes and bronzer. Wow, that is a good day. That's a good day. $20 from Misha Thompson. Congrats on 15K. Thank you for the PayPal. Ageless Beauty 416. Thank you so much, guys. You're too much. Honestly. Honestly. Okay, so another thing I want to mention, I mean, I don't bring my merch up as much because I mean, oh, oh, Britt Clark just, see, oh, here we go, Britt Clark just tweeted. She tweeted my, my video. Thank you, Britt. Sarah Goldfarb, sing us your favorite song, Kate. Sarah, I, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing and you're bribing me. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm prepared to sing. I mean, like, I didn't really like warm up, so. <laughs> oh, Britt Clark. She said she shared to her subs as well. Guys, you are just, whoa, 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 killing the game here. <laughs> Shireen, Shireen Corsand. I had a dream the other night that Randy showed himself. This is what you people are doing to us. Wow, Shireen, that is really intense. Like we are entering your dreams. I am horrified and kind of into it at the same time. 
Okay, so Sarah's asking about the merch. See, this is why I have new people are here. So I have to tell everyone, I do have Kate the Great Beauty merch and it's super fun and everything is in the description box. So if you click the link, it'll take you to the shop and you can check it out there. I think it also shows up. Oh, $15 from Bonnie Jean Zinn. 15K, yay. Thank you, Bonnie Jean Zinn. Wow, I am, I'm trying to really, really catch all of the notifications tonight because you guys are like, I want to catch them all and shout, shout you out. Okay. Jerry Morrison, plugging my merch. <laughs> Gotta love Jerry Morrison. The merch is fun, comfy, cozy, and so soft. Thank you, Jerry Morrison. Oh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys that I feel like I've forgotten to say now in my videos is hit that notification bell. Because a lot of the time, like I, I try to put videos out. No, it just depends on the week honestly. So, so j if you hit the notification bell, it will surely notify you and then you will see my videos. Otherwise it, it tends to differ according to my really busy schedule here in quarantine. <laughs> just hit the bell. Just hit the bell. Just hit the bell. Thank you. <laughs> Molly O'Hara, what's your favorite? We are gonna put on makeup today, guys. It's gonna happen. What is your favorite uh, Pat McGrath gloss? Last night of Sephora sale and I can't resist. Okay. It was it was easy. Like, I don't even have to think about it. I was just talking to Britt Clark about it because she got her Pat McGrath order and she's obsessed. It's Pale Fire Nectar. It is her Lust Gloss and Pale Fire Nectar. I'm going to put it on for, I mean, this isn't, you know, I'm going to put other lips products on later, but it really is just like, I don't know. I could wear this all day, every day. Honestly, it's just the perfect juicy sort of pinky. It has gorgeous shimmer to it. it has like a sort of gold flip to it. It's hard to tell in this light, but Rick Clark about this gloss. She says she's, and she's not saying it, she's yelling it from the mountaintop. Shitting my pants, I'm obsessed, OMG! That's how she feels about that gloss, if you needed an endorsement, okay? <clears throat> Samantha Prentice, I just discovered your channel from Jen Lowe's Reviews, have become obsessed with your live streams, happy to be in my first one. Thank you so much, Samantha. Okay, I'm going to start. Wait, no, I'm not going to start because you know what I'm going to do next? Oh, it's not just champagne. I brought a, sm a special snack. Do you want to know what the special snack is? What do you think it is? Hmm? Guess. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think it is? Christian Milano scared. That's right, Christian. You should be scared. Cheese. Oysters. Smoked oysters, oysters, drink, sausages, oysters, smoked oysters, canned, oysters, smoked oysters. Oh, someone got it right. Someone got it right. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Michelle Dreyer, Vienna sausages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you don't know, I love canned meats, okay? This is courtesy of Better Off Red because when I went to visit her, she knows how much I love Vienna sausages and her and her husband, Tyler, got me like five cans of these and I, I brought them all the way home from their place in Washington, DC. So we're going to eat them. And I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. Did you hear that? <laughs> that sound? Guys, get ready. I should have, I should have brought a fork, but the best way, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. The best way to eat them is just with your fingers. We get in there, it's, it's like, what is it like? What's the classy version of this? Cocktail wieners. Cocktail wieners. It's just like that, except not. Okay. 
getting another one. Little baby penises. Little teeny baby penises. Mmm. 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 Baby penises will probably get this video demonetized. Oh, no, it won't. No, it won't. No, no. YouTube, I just meant not, not actual... Not actual baby... Oh, yeah, that's bad. Not... Oh, damn it. Tiny penises. I meant tiny... Tiny ones. But, like, small... Like, adult... Adult ones, but, like, small. Not, like ones that belong <sighs> you two don't come for me i mean adult penises that are small <sighs> okay i'm just like it is what it is okay i i hit 15k and then i just screw it up <laughs> screw it up We're far enough into the video, right? They're not gonna know. The, the robots can't hear this far into the video. Wish I hadn't said that. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna... Back it up, 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 back it up. Okay. Swimbo, when you hit the bottom of the hole you're digging, stop digging. Those are wise, wise words. <laughs> Jenny with a Y. Zero subscribers, lifetime supply of sausages. Yes. I nailed it. Okay. I'm going to put them away for now because <clears throat> you can't have too many at once because they're actual poison to your body. <sighs> okay. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Prosecco. Everyone get excited. Oh, Stephanie Sprinkle says, loved potted meat, potted meat with crackers. That's such a classy way to say that, potted meat. Okay, now I'm going to eat some, um, <laughs> this is just a mukbang. You didn't even know you were coming. Some, some kettle brand crinkle cut potato chips, salt and fresh ground pepper, great taste naturally. Okay. All right. I'm just checking out the comments. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can't go wrong with a salt and pepper chip. You just can't. All right. So let's get started. <laughs> let's get started. I should wash my hands. I'll be right back. Forgot to dampen my beauty blender. <laughs> just, just be right there in a second. Okay. We're good. We're good. I promise I'm not going to leave you again. I promise. Oh, did someone... Did I miss something? What did I miss? Okay. Let's just get started. <laughs> Jamie K, I'm happy I, I have delivery coming. This is making me hungry. Jamie K is usually like chefing it up in the kitchen, so... All right, here we go. First, we're gonna start with the Touching Soul no, po no Pore Blem Primer. Smooth and pore covering. Why am I reading this like I can't read? <laughs> Top secret for perfect makeup. Okay, great. This is, I'm telling you right now, it's Better Off Red's, one of her favorite primers. And it really does feel like butter going on. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Jamie K said she took the night off. She ordered wings, cheese curds, and Caesar salad. Excuse me? Cheese curds? 
cheese curds. Oh my God, I love cheese curds. Poutine, Canada. I love Canada and poutine. Just a, just a salty hot fry with just a gravy and a cheese curd. Mmm, so good. Karen said, wait, is Randy in the bathroom? No, Karen, I just forgot to close the door. Do you have to point it out? Now I have to go close it. You guys are so difficult. Like, honestly, I'm just exhausted. Okay. Okay, get your shit together. Okay, we did the primer. Putting things away as we go, because you know I like to do that. I'm gonna take the Fenty Pro Filter. I will work my way through this bottle if it kills me, because you know, it's full coverage, which I don't sort of gravitate toward, but I do, I do like it. I just have to mix it with things sometimes to make sure it, it gets to the point where, you know, it doesn't dry down as fast because it dries down real fast. So I'm going to mix my Fenty Pro Filter with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint, which is like the sheerest here the sheerest foundation I've ever found, ever. Okay, so the other thing I wanna say is that BK Beauty, you guys know I love BK Beauty brushes. I love Lisa J Makeup. She is the creator, owner of BK Beauty brushes. Um, I think I own every single one of her brushes. I wear, I use them in almost every single one of my videos, my live streams. They are my favorite. They're my favorite. And they're having a Mother's Day sale. So now through May 10th, everything on the site is 20 to 30% off if you use the code MOM20. So all of that is in the description box. And I've also, you know, for, for your ease and pleasure, I have linked every single tool from BK Beauty that I'm using in this video. 20 to 30% off, are you kidding me? Get out of town. So this is, oh, L Lauren Boyless is here. Hi, Lauren. I discovered I've been pronouncing her name wrong this whole time. Um, so this is the BK Beauty sponge, which I use every single day. And actually, this is probably too much foundation now that I added the Glossier. This is my favorite beauty sponge I've ever used. Yes, yes, it wins out over Beauty Blender, anything. This is the best. It's literally $12. And when you get it, it's really small, but when you dampen it, it puffs up. It's quite large. And it has all these really cool contours so you can like, when you go along your jawline, that's what that's created for. It's just, it's just my favorite and it's super squingy. Okay, I need a mirror. Like what am I even doing with my life? Kate, look at your life and look at your choices. Lauren asked if the fan is on. Yes, mom, the fan is on. <laughs> Leslie Newell, squingy? Yes, that's correct. That's the word I made up just now. You know what I mean, you knew. Art by KCLH. I have a lot of drugstore makeup, but not much high end. What is your fave high end brand? Wow, that's like a that's a tough question. But I I would say Charlotte Tilbury is probably my favorite right now. Heather is asking what I use for body lotion. I use either well, I just got this in my Sephora order, but I got the Boom Boom cream because that's how you say it. It's not bum bum. It's boom boom from Sol de Janeiro. And I got the full size. It's going to last a long time. 
And I also use the Waleda uh, Skin Food, which is much cheaper. You can find it at Target and it's phenomenal. Phenoms. Okay, did I put enough on? Let's just see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Belarusi, Maria, hi. Okay, so now. Melissa Owens, hi, what's going on? Just saw this. Well, hey, Melissa Owens, what's up? We're just casually having a live stream, putting on makeup, eating Vienna sausages, drinking Prosecco, and eating salt and pepper chips. What are you doing? What's up? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. Who, what, what's the reference? Anyone? Musical theater nerds? Anyone? Bueller? Okay. Oh, thank God we're done with that. Jeez. Putting it back. Putting things back as we go. Because I'm working in a tiny, tiny ass space in here, okay? Jesus Christ Superstar. Good job, Cora. Yes. I was in that when I was 16. I was in the chorus. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, great, great. I'm, I'm just seeing what I missed. I'm scrolling up. <laughs> oh, Kristen Hines asked where my earrings are from. So I actually looked to see if these still exist. They don't, but they are from a company called Jenny Bird, which is one of my favorite jewelry companies of all time. They're Canadian. Um, and they don't have these exact ones, but they have ones like them. So definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, Lori said boom, boom cream gave her a headache. Yeah, you have to, it is a very tropical scent. Okay, guys, I'm pulling it out, pulling it's like, can I even talk tonight without sounding, just saying things that sound just dirty and nasty? I'm pulling it out. <clears throat> Pat McGrath Labs. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. Just like seven names with every product. This is in the shade L2. I can't stop using this, guys, okay? I'm telling you right now. It's the best concealer I've ever found. Britt Clark tried this and she was like, Kate, I had no idea. Like she was blown the hell away by this concealer. Okay, so I'm actually going to, I'm actually gonna blend this in with my BK Beauty uh, 101, which is the contoured foundation brush. This is, I know you're like, you're going to do your under eyes with that? Yes, I am because it's super quick. This, this damn brush is one of the best brushes that Lisa J makes. Like, if you're just doing, if you want to be quick about it. And it honestly like, boop, boop, just fits like perfectly under your eye and you can get right up to that super red, tired part of your eye. You know that one? Again, all my brushes, all my brushes that I use are linked blur in the description box. I look like I was literally born yesterday. Like what's even happening? Like I look like a damn like earth angel baby child. I'll say it. You know that's what I look like right now. Not really with those red eyes, but everything else, especially the under eye, nailing it. If you could buy one thing, if you could throw down the money for one 
damn thing at Pat McGrath. It better be that concealer. It better be. But if you're going to get two things, <laughs> if you're like, but I needed one more thing, then you're going to get the, the, the setting powder for it because it's the blurring setting powder and it kind of like completes everything. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with this little baby right here. Britt Clark's like, get the, Britt Clark, get the duo bundle. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Therese, Therese Powell, Kate is slowly being replaced with dirty Kate. And I didn't even, I didn't even mean it. I didn't even know. Okay, so this is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. And I featured this in my favorites video, which I put out on Tuesday. Um, an unexpected hit. Because you can see, it, it looks subtle. And it is subtle but it's Gorge. Oh, sorry, I'm try trying to multitask here. Mr. Kong's mom is here. Melanie is here from Mr. Kong's mom. Yes, again, another channel. If you aren't subscribed, please, for the love of God, subscribe. She talks about candles. What more do you want? Okay, not she doesn't just talk about candles, but she does talk about candles and who who doesn't love a candle, okay? I've kind of gone on a candle binge, like almost like lost my mind with candles. I was like, I must have all the candles because I'm indoors all the time. It, I'm justifying it. It makes sense, right? It's okay. That's okay. I need to be using a mirror. So the cloud paint, which I think I, is the product I probably talked about most over the last couple years, it dries down pretty matte. You know what I mean? Like it's not, it doesn't have any shimmer to it, anything like that. You could probably use this as a bronzer, but oh, with that, we're, we're still using a bronzer, okay? Holly Howard, do you like the Fenty Cream Blush better than Cloud Paint? Trying to decide which one to buy. I've gotten that question a lot. That's a hard question for me. I just like them both the same. That's not helpful, is it? You know what? You know, here's your deciding factor. They, they both have very, they have very different shades. They have very different shade options. So look at the shade options and see. Um, the Cloud Paint... I don't know what to tell you. I like them both. I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. Maybe do the Fenty because like, I don't know. I know it's not limited edition, but like maybe who knows how long it'll stick around. I mean, this, this shit's going to stick around. Like Glossier is not getting rid of the, the cloud paint, you know. Wait, Melissa Owens. Someone said they don't know if they're shipping or Lauren. I don't think they're shipping, Lori. Are we talking about, oh, ColourPop. Yeah, I don't think they're shipping right now, but I'll tell you who is shipping and it's the fastest damn shipping I've ever seen is Glossier. I order and literally, I mean, I'm obviously it depends on where you live, but <clears throat> I got it like literally two days after I ordered it. It was like that. Okay. I think we're good on the, but here's what we're also going to do. We're going to double this. We're going to double this. No, we're going to use this in two different ways. Is what I meant to say. We're going to use this as an eyeshadow. God, this, oh, it's so good. This is such a good product. I don't know. Maybe you should get the cloud paint. I take it back. <laughs> it's so good and it dries down so matte. It's just a one and done. Oh, I love it. You know how much I love a one and done situation. 
okay, I can't believe I haven't drank anything in a while. Well, I, I've got too many things. I've got to chat and I've got to drink and I've got to put on cloud paint. Okay, okay, okay. I do need a refill, hold on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Refill time. Okay, put it back now, please. Thank you. I feel so much better now. Oh, someone's, I missed it, damn it. Maria McAdrian, oh wait, no. Oh, I think I already read that, sorry. <laughs> I thought I missed a notification. Okay. Julie B, did we talk about the Gorge head wrap? Where is it from? Okay, guys, here's the deal. I have never gotten so many qu questions about something in my life as my head wraps. And I, and thank you so much. So my head wraps, yeah, I think that's good. Maybe just a little bit more though. Like maybe just a little bit more. My head wraps are something that I have worn from like the age of like 18 on. Um, and it's just because, you know, I've had short hair since I was 17. Sometimes I just didn't want to do my hair. And I'm a huge fan of accessories. I'm like my favorite, favorite thing ever is an accessory. So I was just like, well, I'll just, you know, I'd find a bandana or a scarf and I would cut it, you know, to a length that makes sense or a width that makes sense for my head. And then I just, you know, make it work. As Tim Gunn says, make it work. Um, and so, God, I love Tim Gunn. That man can't do anything wrong. Let's be honest. So yeah, that's better. That's perfect. That's just right. So I would just take like any piece of fabric and make it happen. Um, but what I will tell you is this. If you want specifics, because I know you do, because what, how is that helpful? I mean, it's not, that's not, that didn't help you out. You're like, okay, thanks, Kate. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? All right, well, hold on. I'll give, I'll give you some examples. Calm down. Um, <laughs> just making sure that this is all like tidy on the ends here. I go to Madewell. Madewell makes really great bandanas, um, and I use them as head wraps. This is one that my mom sent me. My mom's been sending me head wraps. This is from somewhere on Etsy. Mom, weigh in. Where's it from? It has little skulls on it. Little colorful skulls. Um, but really my go-to, go-to head wrap place is Lush. I get so many head wraps from Lush. I use their knot wraps, which are the, you can use them to like wrap, you know, their bath bombs up and stuff like that. It is, they're so fun. They're so funky. They always come out with new designs. I'm going to tell you right now, I have like, you know, I have a, a lot of hair, but it's fine. So, and I don't want things slipping out of my hair. So I make sure that they're not silky because they make ones that are like this, that are like cotton that actually kind of stick to my hair. So you want to make sure you get the like non silky ones, but they're the best. I'm telling you right now. Jennifer Gould is your right ear flipped over. What? I don't know. I don't think so. Jennifer Gould, stop scaring the hell out of me. I know. I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I lost my train. <laughs> Too many things going on. Oh, Samantha Sullivan said she ordered two from Lush yesterday. And... Anne is asking me if I'm a handbag girl. I'm not, I'm really not. I live in New York City and I, I use a backpack. And handbags, like, I'm just not bougie enough. Um, <clears throat> like, where am I going with a handbag at this point? You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not, by the way, very few people are Sarah Jessica Parker in Sex and the City who live in New York City. Like, I'm giving you like a biker boot and like a legging with like maybe a comfortable but cute sweatshirt like this, like an off the shoulder. I'm giving you this, this is what I'm <laughs> giving you in New York. But can you imagine if I was wearing this but I was just like Chanel handbag? Like where do I think I'm going? 
no, I'm not a handbag person. Not that, no shade on people who are handbag people. None at all. I'm just saying I'm not one. Heather, Heather, my friend Heather and I always like loudly agree about this. She's like, yes, where am I going that I need anything? Pandemic or no? <laughs> Do you guys know about loudly agreeing? Have we talked about it? Well, Heather and I, I'm pretty sure we came up with it. If we didn't, then I'm just taking credit for it anyway. Um, did I miss? Deborah Valente, congrats on 15K. We love you, Kate, $25. Thank you. I, You know what? I Before I tell you about loudly agreeing, I want to make sure that I haven't missed any shout outs because that makes me feel like trash when I do that. Okay, great, great, great. I think I got them all. Someone, if you guys, if, if I missed something, if you realize I missed your, your Venmo, let me know. I'm sorry. I'm just take, taking in what's happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so loudly agreeing is what happens when you are with, you know, a girlfriend. I, it could be a, anyone. It could be anyone. You're just chatting with someone and you're just like in into a conversation and you are just so passionate about pick, pick a topic, anything. It doesn't matter. And you are so intense about it that your voice is raised and you're all you're like angrily yelling like in agreement in public so much so that if someone saw you they'd be like oh my god those women are those women in an argument Ooh, yikes i'm gonna mm. that's loudly agreeing okay so <laughs> so loudly agreeing is something that heather and i do all the time and we're always loudly agreeing about like where am i going like where am i going with like dresses and heels and like a handbag like honestly <laughs> just so you know loudly agreeing okay moving on also drinks Ooh, lynn piccolo tim gunn's new show on amazon is making the cut it's not as good as project one runway but i have wanted to check it out because i love making the cut heather Talking about loudly agreeing, she's weighing in. Why are we shouting? We are saying the same thing. Exactly. Catnip four, I do not want to go out now with a good bag and get virus on it. Currently I'm using a strand cloth bag that I can wash, but normally I'm a bougie bag person. Fair, fair. Okay. Let's let me put something else on my face because I've just completely lost focus now. OK. What's next? Powder. Powder's next. Nope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Having a mental breakdown literally on YouTube. OK, so Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I decided to mix it up. Did I want to go with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder? or airbrush finish, finish powder. Yes, I did. But I was like, oh, these people are so sick of me using the same damn thing. So I'm mixing it up and I'm using my, this is great. It's lost its coolness. It's supposed to have like, it was amazing for the first few months because it had like a chill to it. When you put it on your face, it felt wet. So that's kind of gone now, but you know what? It's okay. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at you. Okay. Like I know you've changed and you know, you're not, you're not as good as you were, but I guess it's okay. You still look really good. So this is my BK Beauty 102. I use this all the time, every day. It's so good. Also, can we talk about the BK Beauty brushes really quick? Because this is the most stunning brush I've literally ever seen. The fact that she went with this shiny, like classy maroon handle, like what's even happening? It makes me angry. Okay. We're dipping it in, we're setting, setting the face. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More than just skin, I did not think I would like that Becca powder, but it is awesome. Yes.
Lori Abercrombie is after all of you. She said 191 likes and 272 people are watching. <laughs> Guys, if you came in, I would so appreciate it. If you would like this video. Thank you. Heather is asking, should I have a different brush for like every color, shade of shadow or something? Or am I just not washing my brushes enough? I mean, I, it depends. I don't, I have so many brushes and I literally end up using like the same brush over and over again. I just find one that I, I love and I use it. So I mean, I don't think there's a rule. I'm sure like brush snobs would be like, oh, Heather, God, it's pathetic. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not going to do that to you because I'm not that kind of person. Aren't it nice? Okay. I think we set that enough. Also, the thing about this brush that I love is that it's so, this is like the bunny on your face brush, okay? I When I initially got these and I did a review of them, it literally feels like there's a bunny on your face. It is so satisfying, it is so soft. And I love the fact that no matter what powder I use, it, you can't mess up with this brush. It's never gonna go overboard. You're never gonna be cakey. You're never going to feel like an old apple witch prune woman with this, okay? You're just not. Okay, great. Now, we're gonna use this magical shit. <laughs> this Pat McGrath blurring under eye powder that is absolutely bananas. And we're gonna use this brush, I have chosen all my favorite BK Beauty brushes. Like these are like what I use all the damn time. This is the 108. This is the perfect under eye setting brush. Like perfect. Just watch. Watch and you'll learn and you'll see. Like look at how it's like boop. Just like it's so fits under your eye. and get excited because, oh no, that's not the only use for this brush. You just wait. And then I'm also gonna just set the cloud, the cleared paint. <laughs> Rhonda KS, who the hell put two thumbs down? Girl, I don't know, but haters gon' hate, okay? We just are. We just are. Okay, so we're done with that. That took, like, it's just so quick. I, oh, I love this brush. Okay. There's a gnat. Go away, little gnat. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Mmm. Now, I have to be, I have to really focus because last time I didn't use things in the order I wanted to use them because I was just flapping my yapper, okay? So, <sighs> Lisa Bilson is here. A Pat McGrath powder might make it into my basket before the Sephora sale ends, Lisa. Put that powder in that basket or I swear to God, I'll come for you. I'll find you over there in British Columbia. I'll get you in Victoria. I know where you live. I don't, I don't really, I don't know where you live. This video is being demonetized for like 18 different reasons. Kate the Great Beauty, I hear she threatens people and she tells them she's gonna come to their house and get them. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer Gould said it's still engagement, so no matter what, it still helps. C correct, correct. But sad, sad but true kind of sad, sad, but not sad. I don't know how to feel about it. That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did I miss? Jennifer Downey said she, I want a bunny on my face. Okay. Now I have to get that brush. Yes, you do. You have to, do have to get that brush. And I just want to say for people who came in, all this is in the, oh, I'm just exhausted from saying it. All of this is in the description box, but um, BK Beauty brushes are having a sale right now. 20 to 30% off for Mother's Day, now through the 10th of May. 20 to 30% off? I'm sorry, I literally sound like Laura Linney in the Truman Show right now, but like, it's it's a good deal. 
um, I was talking to Sarah. I don't think it's better off Red would, would mind me sharing this. I was Marco Poling with her and Michelle today and they were literally going back and forth about like organizing their Tupperware and something about like liquid Dawn, like some sort of new form of Dawn. And like, I was just watching it as I was getting ready. And Sarah literally was like, have you seen this? This is amazing. This is a new Dawn. I swear. Like she went on about this like cleansing product. And I was like, Like, are you actually Laura Linney in the Truman Show just turning to the camera and being like, but have you tried this product? It's delicious. I use it every morning. <clears throat> I love it. I'll have to find out what that cleaner is. People are gonna be like, what did she use? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Allie's son, I think Lisa J is a literal angel. She is actually an, an earth angel person. She looks like an angel. She smells like an angel. I don't know. I've never met her, but she, I'm sure she does. I, I mean, I haven't met her in person. I've met her. We have, we've conversed many times, but not in person. I'm sure she smells great. Lisa, I'm sure you smell great. And yes, her skin is like, what's even happening? What's even happening there? Oh, Karen Kay knows the, she knows what Better Off Red's talking about. She says it's, it's a foam. She can't find it. Okay. Now we're going to move on to bronzer. I am going to use the non-cream Fenty bronzer. I feel like I, these products are so shiny. Did you guys watch the crab from Moana singing shiny in the style of David Bowie? If you didn't. I know what you're watching tonight. Shiny. I have to clean off my shiny products because you can just see fingerprints and it looks disgusting. Okay, so this is the Fenty Powder Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. It's the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. Okay. Yeah, I have a brush for that too. Oh, you best believe. You best believe I do. It's right here. Wait, let me make sure I have the right one. Yes, okay, so this is the BKBD. This is the 103. I know you're like, oh my God, these numbers. Don't even worry about it. I've listed everything down below. You're welcome. This is the BK Beauty 103. This is a bronzer brush. I also, you know I love my Refer P22. I really do. Um, but this is fabulous as well. And we're gonna use it today. I actually haven't used this bronzer. This is brand new. So this could, you know, we're gonna see how this goes. I don't know. People are still seriously talking about this Dawn. Y'all are like getting all Stepford Wives up on me today. It's like, I started talking about this new Dawn product and everyone's like, but have you heard? It cleans like never before. Ed loves when I use that Dawn. It just gets everything so sparkly and shiny. <laughs> Listen, it's important. I get it. Jamie K, Kate, Kate, can we do another movie chat? Something fun in 90s like The Craft or something else so bad it's good. Yes, we can. We can. And we should and we shall. Let me think about it. I did see the craft. I did. Did I miss someone sending me? Oh, no, that's okay. I keep getting like double notifications and I'm over it. Okay, we got it. We get it. PayPal, you want me to know twice. Do you see how gradually this is going on though? Like, it's very subtle. Georgia Colster, if we could only buy one of her brushes, which would it be? Wow. Wow. You just, you just dropped that. 
Let me think about it for a second. Melissa Owens, you were a Meryl Streep in her younger years. I finally figured out who you remind me of. Really? I've heard that a couple times, but never heard that any other time but in these two weeks. What did what have I done in the last two weeks? I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Sarah Sarah likes to take really unattractive screenshots of me during my lives and send them to me during my lives. She just sent one because I called her out for being a stepford wife. <laughs> this is really nice actually it is really subtle i was worried when i got this i was like "Ooh, is that gonna be too much no it's not it's not it's just right Britt clark says she thinks i look like glenn close i have gotten that a lot listen i'll take any of those things <sighs> mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Meryl Streep that's interesting really okay I mean listen I'm not mad about it Lisa Lisa, Lisa said you're you're way better looking than Meryl Streep at any age oh well thank you I mean okay thank you Oh, it's somewhat Teresa, Teresa Powell said it's the hair wrap Sunset Boulevard. Yes, this is a very Norma Desmond. I'm ready for my close up Mr. DeMille situation, if you will. Um, am I done with the bronzer? Hold on, let me I have to get really close up to my my ring light. Sorry for the the, the really intense zoom in. It's pretty good. But it's not enough. Lauren's like, no, no, you're not done. <laughs> Ashley Moore, since we can't see Randy, what actor does he look like? Well, right now he's giving you a Jonah Hill situation. I'll tell you right. I think I think you know he looks like Jonah. Hill. He does. He's got like a huge curly fro. I mean, it's like huge now. Huge. And yeah, he's got like a very, wouldn't you say? What's that? Did you hear anything I just said? Uh, I, I don't know what exactly you're referring to though. John Hill? Yes. Yeah, more or less. Okay. <laughs> Ashley Moore, but taller? I don't know how, how tall is Jonah Hill. I mean, Randy's 5'9". So, Lisa M, I came over from Jen's channel. I have been loving your videos. I love the headscarf. How do you keep it on your head? When I wear one, they always come off. Lisa, such a good point. And this is the issue with head wraps, okay? I'm a white girl, right? Like my hair is slippery and fine and it's anything staying in it is just like, it's annoying because it's not gonna stay. Um, that's why I have to get this certain texture. It has to be like a coarse cotton, which is why I love that, that particular texture of the knot wraps at Lush. So you want to make sure you don't get something silky. The silky is going to slip out. Um, and I just tie them, you know, very firmly, very firmly. <laughs> Sassy red, wait, what, wait, you're white. I don't know if you guys knew, but in case you didn't, I'm white. <laughs> Kayla Jennerson, Kate, did you watch the Ladies Who Lunch tribute Meryl Streep, Audra McDonald, and Christine Baranski did for Sondheim, a whole mood? I did not see the Sondheim. I'm going to bronze myself into a situation that no one ever wanted to see, but <laughs> I'm going very subtle. Like I want you to know I'm literally going like that. <laughs> I like that. And therefore I'll be bronzing for the next 20 minutes. Watch me. Um, Audra McDonald was literally my hero growing up. She, her voice is absolutely incredible. I listened to, I know all her albums by heart. She is one of the most talented people ever. Um, I did not see that tribute but I have heard much about it. I'm, I will try to watch it. I love the ladies who lunch. I love Stephen Sondheim. 
what can we say? Steven, you're nailing it. Allie's son, I loved Audra and Ragtime. I'm not gonna... <laughs> We can't nerd out too hard about musical theater. We're going to lose the entire audience. But Ragtime is literally one of my favorite musicals uh, ever, ever. I saw it. Um, I think I saw it when it came to when we when we lived in Ohio. It came to the Palace or the Ohio or something like that theater. And it was I remember crying in the, the opening. The opening is so epic. And they're like all their silhouettes. I was just like, <laughs> like just. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. The skies were blue and hazy, never la 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 la. I don't know the words anymore. <laughs> hey, 12 year old me, shout it out. What are the words? I don't know. Teresa Powell, girl, you like musicals? Love you more. Teresa. Teresa done them all my life girl girl that's literally been my life musicals I am a musical theater gal it's what I've done since I was like 12 <sighs> yeah I'm that person but not really I mean I try not to be that person <laughs> <clears throat> no if you're new you wouldn't know that why would you know that I'm just shaming you for no damn reason why didn't you know this about me? I mean, where have you been all my life? Oh, right. You just got here yesterday. Sorry. Take it back. Back it up. 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 <laughs> Jenny with a Y. Just to get everyone up to speed, Kate is white, likes musicals, and eats sausages. Thank you. That really sums it all up perfectly. Renee Leonard, get on with this. Whoa. Renee is aggressive and... Okay, Renee. Jeez. Just trying to have some fun around here. Guess I'll do what Renee wants me to do. So. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, get on with it. What's next? Okay. Well, let's do brows, for God's sake. Let's just get on with this. God, get it over with, Kate. We're trying to get out of here. Trying to get out of here on time. We have places to be. Oh, wait, we have nowhere to be. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just getting this ready. Watch me take 30 minutes to do my brows. I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. I mean, I might come close, but this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in this shade dark brown. I always use it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to catch up on all the I'm gonna stop apologizing. I do that too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that I say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can't, wow, we're just talking about Audrey McDonald, canned meats. Yes, I love this chat, everything about it. Okay. Back to my brows. People are wondering, I've gotten some questions about what we're going to watch tonight. I don't really know. We're watching Ozark because everyone is like belligerent about it. Everyone's like, have you watched Ozark yet? What are you doing with your life and your choices? So we're watching it. Um, oh, okay. So that's, I was going to get to that. We watched Romy and Michelle's high school reunion the other night. I've seen it so many times. Randy's seen like a lot of clips of it. Guys, if you haven't, if you've never seen that movie slash haven't seen that movie in years, watch it tonight. It is such a freaking delight. Lisa Kudrow is a comic genius. And I know that I'm just pointing out the obvious, but like every time I watch her, I'm just like, I just didn't know growing up, like how brilliant she is. Like her timing is she's, she plays dumb so well, but 
the timing and the um, intelligence it actually takes to portray someone that dumb is, you know what I mean? Like it's ironic because it's such a skill and she does it so well. It's t effortless. And that freaking scene with Alan Cumming, <laughs> who comes back to the 10 year high school reunion as Sandy Frank, 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 Fink, I don't know. And they do that really dramatic modern dance to time after time that's totally impro <laughs> improvised is I just, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. It's, it's incredible. Um, also like strangely attracted to Alan Cumming in that movie, like just twinkly eyes. I was like, Oh, I turned to Randy. I was like, Alan Cumming's kind of cute. And Randy was like, yeah, yeah, no, he is. <laughs> Amanda Parker sent me $10. Hey, Kate, it's Amanda Parker. I had some online art sales this week, and I wanted to congratulate you on 15 k Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just getting back. Okay, God, I'm just... I want you to slap me through the screen every time I say sorry. <laughs> Why are people... This is... Ugh. Who just said this? Georgia Colster said Alan Cumming, I love him, and it was held for review. Oh, be oh, oh. You had to ask? I'm sorry. It's just a name. Jeez, you can't say anything around here. Around here on the YouTubes. Everything's worse on YouTube. <laughs> We're just a lighthearted fan. I was going to say family. This isn't a family channel. We're just a lighthearted channel over here. All right, God, I'm done with my brows. I mean, I think. I'm done. I'm done. Is this getting the show on the road fast enough for everyone? <laughs> I'm going to take a drink. And I'm also going to eat a sausage. And you're going to like it. I'm not, someone's like, what about boy brow? Ooh, they kind of dried out. No, no, they didn't. We're good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Boy brow. I know you're thinking boy brow. I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to use this really dried up tube of Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. This could go one of two ways. This could be awesome or it could be tragic. We'll find out. I like this product, but it was really pigmented. And if you don't use a light hand, it's a disaster. You're basically Groucho Marx when you didn't ask for it. Also, like, who's ever asking to look like Groucho Marx? Like, that's just not a look that people are after nowadays. Like, oh, God, I just was, I was going more for grou Groucho. Okay, okay, I guess, like, I guess it didn't work out. Just gonna get those little hairs and try to feather it. This actually works better when it's dried out because it's not as intimidating and just not as wet can't make as many mistakes with it. See, there's a little bit of a difference there. Yeah. Bonnie's in, I have to get Vienna sausages in my next grocery run. Yeah, you do. Wow, people are really getting to the Vienna sausages right here. Um, okay, so we, <laughs> we watched Romeo and Michelle Guys, did you go to your 10 year high school reunion? Let's talk about it. Let's get in there. Anyone? Bueller? I didn't. 
I didn't because, well, I, I'm a little, my story's a little confusing because I actually spent three years going to um, a public high school, which Randy and I went to the same high school. And then I went to performing arts boarding school my senior year. I went to Interlochen. So like technically if I went to my high school reunion, it would be for Interlochen, but I don't care about that. I don't even remember those people. I was there for a year. I want the goods. I want to see the public school assholes. <laughs> they weren't all assholes. They yeah, kind they of were. were. They were. Not all of them. Kind of. 97%. 97%, that's correct. This actually turned out really well. I'm really liking this dark brow. Let's see who went. Ageless Beauty 416, I sure did. 10, 20, 25, and 30. So much fun. Whoa. You're a glutton for punishment. Yes. Jenny with a Y. They were all assholes, Kate. Pretty close. Um, Anna Lynch. Anna Lynch. I didn't really like many people in high school. Don't want to go back to that hellhole. <laughs> yes, I'm loving this honesty. Mr. Kong's mom. I love seeing all the peeps. Some are so different now. I'm sure it would be very interesting. Um, R Rhonda KS, we have them every five years and I have made it to all of them, but this last one, wow, you guys are committed. Um, by the way, our 20th is next year. Oh, our 20th is next year. Wow. I'm instantly depressed. Thank you for sharing that information. Okay. Got it. Jerry Morrison, I went to Catholic school through eighth grade, then public school. I be, but I became a, I but became a mom the summer before senior year, so I finished in night school. Yeah, not so so many school friends left. Um, okay. <laughs> Ashley Moore, do we need it now that we have social media? That it. <laughs> Ashley Moore for the win, killing it, nailing it, winning winning the day. Maricela Salas. I'm, I'm glad that's not a thing in my country. I got in touch with some high school friends and some expect everyone to be the same you were 10 years ago. Seriously? We were kids. We knew nothing. Preach. Preach. Samantha Prentice. I could think of nothing worse than going to a high school reunion. Ha ha. <laughs> okay. Let me take a drink and move on to the next product. What is the next product? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What's happening? I'm just gonna do a very light, it's gonna get more interesting. Just hang in there, just hang in. You never know, there might be a bold lip coming. Get excited. <laughs> do you like how I'm looking at you? Like you're two? <gasps> a bold lip? <gasps> Are you excited? Am I am I projecting what I want you to feel onto you? Yes, yes, bald lip, bald lip. Okay, so this this uh, pencil that I'm using on my eye is I don't even know. It's from a boxy charm. I've tried to find it. It doesn't exist. It's called Hollywood and Vine. But listen, I'm gonna use this until it's done. And like, I mean, a black pencil is kind of a black pencil. I mean, not not totally, because like the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-Ons are, you know, they're next level. But I'm just saying, I'm not going to go out of my way to throw out a black pencil and just buy a new black pencil. You know what I'm saying? What else am I missing for? I'm trying to think what else I could have said about Romy and Michelle. There's just so much good material. When it opens with them, like, making fun of Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman, I, I love it. Like, when Julia Roberts, you know, goes to the store and there's, a, you know, the, the girls won't help her. And that's just so, so sad. <laughs> Which I've always actually thought was really sad. And then I was like, oh. I mean, it's not that, not that sad. I mean, she, she had Richard Gere, you know what I mean? Like she was fine. Big mistake, huge, huge. 
so good. Such a good scene. I still think that was like, honestly, one of Julia Roberts' best performances. I just thought she was so believable in a role that, let's be honest, might not play that believably. You know what I mean? But like, I bought it. I bought it. She was just, oh, damn it. This is always kind of like, I, I hate the lining of the eyes. I'm sorry you even have to, I'm sorry you even have to see it. I'm sorry. I am doing like a little kind of baby cat eye. Are they even? Nah, they're even enough. Oh, let's call it a day on those. Um, great. Great. This is going great. Now we're going to curl the lurches. Heather, Heather, is that a kitty eye? Yes. Meow. Meow. Stephanie Leslie. Hold on. I can't see. She had a similar thing with Aaron Brockovich where she was so real and lovable despite the crazy sexiness. Yeah, she was great in Eric, Aaron Brockovich. I love Julia Roberts. I feel like people just love to kind of hate on movie stars who are that famous, who have become famous essentially for their personalities. Don't we all kind of want to be that person? You just become famous for your personality. I mean, that's not true. They're also, they're talented people, but you know what I'm saying? Like Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, Meg Ryan, they all kind of do the same thing, but we're into it. Tom Cruise. Oh, no, I take it back. Sorry. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Tom Cruise actually has been pretty versatile. Let's not get into Tom Cruise. I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm looking for my damn mascara. And okay, so here it is. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. But I do feel like I need to, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't get away from it. I tried to be like, let's do a new mascara tonight. Let's just branch out. Let's not. Let's not and say we did because this is the uh, Monster Big. The Monster Big Roller Lash Combo that is like killing it to a point where I'm like, well, I mean, if I find something else that works... I don't know what the hell that's going to be. Someone throw it out there. Sorry, I'm just catching up on some. See, I said, sorry. Did you slap me through the screen? Okay, I'm sorry. Someone asked about the favorite BK Beauty brush. Okay, and Tammy Croft said it's the 101 contoured foundation brush. I forgot to come back to that question that's a great question let me answer that right now oh god that's a tough that's a tough one okay this is this is this is my answer wait nope nope gotta gotta do this while it's wet i'll tell you in a second hold on because if you if you don't if you go in with the roller lash after the the other mascara is dried you're doing a tammy faye baker and no one wants to be doing a tammy faye baker now Okay. I mean, I don't know why anyone wanted to do Tammy Faye Baker then, but you definitely don't want to now. Okay. <sighs> That's done. So, favorite BK Beauty brushes. If I had to choose one. Oh, gosh, this is toughy. That's really tough. I would have to agree. I'd have to agree. It is the contoured foundation brush. She did herself in with this. Did herself in? That's right, right? Outdid herself. Outdid herself. <laughs> did yourself in? Never mind. She outdid herself with this. This is truly amazing. Like I said, like it, if you just are doing a quick makeup look, which let's be honest, like we don't all want to take like a leisurely hour to do our makeup, right? This is it, okay? This brush, if you had to choose one brush, 
I would say this. If you could choose two brushes, if you could, well then, what I'd say is choose wisely. I'm like, I'm so, I feel this is so high stakes right now because it's very difficult. I'd say the powder brush. This is the bunny on the face brush. I love this. This is what I use the most. The contour brush is next. I'm going to do the other eye. Everyone calm down. No, can you imagine if I was just like, okay, bye, we're done. <laughs> do you think, do you honestly think I'm going to forget my other eye? <laughs> Guys, I'm drunk, but I'm not that drunk. Wait, do you do your eyes different? I'm confused. I did, I did that eye because I wanted to, I, like I said, when you use a monster big, you have to make sure you go in with this right away or else you're telling me, were you even listening? Were you even listening to me? Oh God, just like, I'm exhausted again. Exhausted. This brush right here. Okay. This is the 102 large powder brush. If you could buy three and then I swear to God, I'm done. If you could buy three though, but for real though, like if you buy those two, okay, decide what you need. This is, you can buy all these individually, by the way, you can buy them in sets and you can buy them individually. This damn 108 precision powder brush is so good. I haven't even showed you all it can do because we haven't gotten there yet because I'm, you flapping my yapper. I'm yammering on, but the under eye, it's so perfect. And it's just like, it fits so perfectly. It's just so satisfying. It's just, oh. and then I'm just going to tell you, you can use it as a highlighter brush. Okay. We're going to get there. It's so good. Oh my God. Everyone is like, do your other eye. What? Like, are you all going to be okay? Is everyone, are you going to be okay? What if I didn't? What if I didn't? Why is, is everyone really, <laughs> are you guys really like flipping out? Oh my God, calm down. Don't you hate when people say that? Just calm down. I don't want to calm down. I just want her to do her other eye. Damn it. Why? Don't tell me to calm down. That other eye must be finished. Wow, you guys are like psychos. You need to get a hold of yourselves. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> Therese has to leave. Bye, Therese. Or Therese. Okay. I'm doing my other eye. Is everyone happy? Oh, God, I got too much. All right. Well. Okay. Okay, no, no. Now. Now, <sighs> Jimmy K, leave it at one eye. You're staying home. It's all good. No, we're gonna, we're gonna finish it. Everyone, look. It is so satisfying to go back in with a roller lash and just like pull apart all those like clumped lashes and just make it so damn perfect. So damn perfect. Ashley Moore, isn't there a condition where people freak out when something isn't complete? Like saying a popular phrase partially and stopping. I might be crazy, but it's a thing. I think that's what happened to all of you. Isn't that what happened? I'm just concerned that you guys actually think I would have not done the other eye. I'm starting to question like what you think of me as a person. Like, do you, is that what you think? Like, is that how you feel about me? Like you actually think I would have done that? All right, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. We're almost done, I swear. <laughs> My dad said perfectionism. Heather, Heather asked, is Benefit Roller Lash not a mascara? No, it is. Wait, what? What do you mean? It's this. Benefit Roller Lash. It's this, this like magical mascara that's like literally the best thing on the face of the planet. Oh 
Okay, moving on. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Okay, we're going in with blush. Guys, we have three products-ish, three products left. Um, okay, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek in Ecstasy. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, and I always forget about this, but how can I? Because look at this damn packaging. Sort of like a little bit like, ooh, twins, twins. Okay. So I am using the BK Beauty 104. This is, she has two different blush brushes. She has the 104 and she has the 107. So you see the difference. So I guess it just depends on like, how you want your application to me to, to be. This is obviously smaller and flatter, so you can get more precise with it. And this is more like bunny on your face, just like, boop, I'm gonna do bunny on your face. But this is also, I was kind of quibbling between the two, but this is really good. Jeez. Oh, okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go now get blushy that's right i came up with that on the spot <laughs> i'm a dork i'm really a dweeb but also like look at that though like that has the perfect amount of shimmer to it where it's like just almost kind of like a highlight and a blush in one I'm trying to blush and read your comments. Julie B said the Benefit Roller Lash is one of those rare mascaras that work for my puny little straight lashes. Yes, it really is so good. Um, we're almost done blushing, but not yet. I think that's good. I think that's good. We're good. Okay. Love it. Love it. Like this is just, it's very, it's subtle, but if you build it up, it's the perfect cheek. Cheek to cheek. Charlotte, just nailing it all the time. Okay. Now we're going to do lips guys. It we're, it's, it's happening. It's happening. We're coming. It's coming to a close. I am going to do and I guess I'm going to pull my shoulder down because I want to feel extra sassy. I'm going to do a bold red lip. Okay, so this is the MAC um, lip liner in Ruby Woo. Sorry, I'm just reading. Oh, God. Stop saying you're sorry. Stop it. Tammy Croft, I'm such a BK Beauty fan. Not only great brushes, I had an awesome customer service experience with them and used Kate's discount code to purchase. Yes, it's so good. If you guys do purchase from them again, now I do have my own discount code, but it's only gonna get you 10% off. And I don't want you to get just 10% off. I want you to get the full 20 to 30% off. So use the code that's in the description box, which is mom20. Get some from your mom. Get some. Can't talk. Get some for your mom. Wow, I really sharpened the hell out of this liner. This could take days. This could take days. Oh, did someone say drink? Okay. Okay. Need a Is there any left? I think so. Okay. What if I left it like that, guys? Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm done. <laughs> no? No good? Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I'll get <laughs> more Prosecco and then I'll finish my lip. But will I, though? But will I? Thank you. Okay, 
Okay, here we go. What does my shirt say? It says nasty, nasty woman and has a cat on it. <laughs> Heather asked. I feel like Heather's like my mom. What does your shirt say? Share with everyone. Jenny with a Y. Oh my God, Kate, you have two lips for Christ's sakes. I mean, listen, I'm getting to it in my own time. Okay. Okay. Now we're doing this little baby right here. I'm so excited. This I've been, this is like the star of the show. Okay. <laughs> Cam McConnell, don't rush her. Oh, Karen had to leave. Bye Karen. Okay. So this is Charlotte Tilbury as well. Look at this packaging. What is even happening? Yes. This is still available. I thought this was limited edition. It's not. This is her hot lips line. I have not even used this yet. I've been saving it for you guys. Um, so from what I understand, this is, she has her matte revolution lipstick and then she has her hot, hot lips, hot lips, hot lips two. This was named after her mother. It's called Patsy Red and it's a classic red. Heather, this is right up your alley because Heather loves a bold red lip. Um, and it's, it's kind of in between like a cream and a matte from what I understand. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Also, I love the shape of this. She doesn't do a normal lipstick shape and I love it. I feel it goes on better. Oh my God, it glides, it glides. Oh, Lauren said it's refillable. That's awesome. I mean, I mean, I mean. I just have to make sure that my lips are even. Make sure that little area where like you have a lip and then you don't have a lip is okay. I think it is, let me just make sure. Okay, that is truly like one of the most gorgeous reds I think I've ever seen. And I love the formula. It's, it, it is between a cream and a matte. It's definitely still creamy. And yes. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> Just, when's she gonna stop? When's she gonna stop applying it? Okay, perfect. So the shade of the lipstick is Patsy Red from, hold on a second, from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And it is below, like also what in the actual hell, I've never, I've never worn this before and I'm obsessed with it. We got one more, one more product guys. Thanks for hanging in. Um, the, here it is. What are people saying? Jennifer Gould, congratulations on your collab with Jen Kate. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, just 
just scrolling up here. Georgia Colsters asked, okay, so while I talk about, while I answer this question, uh, Georgia Colsters question, I am going to do my highlighter, which is the last step. This is just an old standby. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle. It just, this can never do anything wrong, in my opinion. It is like a bronzy sort of peach, um, not bronzy, I guess like a peachy champagne um, highlighter. And I'm using that brush, the number three brush I told you about. <clears throat> that um, is for the under eye and for the highlighter. And I love that I can double it too, because you do the under eye and then you're like, oh, well, I can totally use it as a highlighter and I don't have to like clean it or anything. I don't know what we're gonna watch, actually. Um, well, you did compare me to Jonah Hill, so we might have to watch Get Him to the Greek. Get Him to the Greek. He's saying, I just because I compared him to Jonah Hill, we're, we might have to watch that. Okay, well, I haven't seen that. I also reminded him that I had not seen um, The Hangover. I've not seen the first one. I saw the, the second one, which might be kind of fun. Everyone I ever tell is like, oh my God, how have you not seen that? Do you see this? Like, this is just gorgeous. And I just love this brush. You know what I mean? Like, I like fan brushes, but I feel like with a brush like this, I can really get in there and like blend the hell out of it. Also, just right on the brow bone there. And then we're just gonna make sure that it looks super de duper blended. Take that damp beauty blender, just go over it. Guys, we're finished, we're finished. This is the finished look. I thought, you know, a red lip would be apropos because 15K. 15K, champagne, red lip. Mm. And let me see if I, if I missed anything. Okay, I don't think I did. I think, I think like this has been long enough as it is. <laughs> But um, I'm loving the lip, how it turned out. I just want to thank you guys so much for coming to my little celebration on a Friday night. Thank you for all of the likes, the super chats, the Venmos. Um, and thank you to anyone who is brand new from Jen's channel or just brand new in general. I really appreciate you. Um, again, sh you know, share. Share the shit you like, you know, just get get out there post post your little hearts out because i cannot tell you how much it has turned things around for my channel and um what else i feel like i'm forgetting something i don't think i am um everything is in the description box <laughs> everything Everything is in the description box. Okay, so you'll find everything down there. Please check out the BK Beauty sale. I absolutely love Lisa J Makeup. Um, it's not just any brush company. It's not just any um, beauty company. It's a beauty company with a purpose. You can read more about it on her website, but a lot of her proceeds, part, part of her proceeds go to, I forget the name of the, the actual project or campaign, but it's basically to combat bullying in young children. She's just she's just good people she's good people she makes incredible brushes and she's having a bomb ass sale so uh definitely check it out everything is down below and thank you guys again thank you for being here i love you i really appreciate you guys like honestly i appreciate you more than i can put into words so have a good night and i will see you on monday at 7 p.m eastern standard time for another happy hour we're gonna do skincare probably probably like a mass night in skincare Okay, bye.